everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you my skincare routine and you guys have been asking for this for a really long time and I don't know why I haven't filmed it until now. I guess I've just been finding the perfect products for me and I feel like I found a really nice combination which works really well so I thought I'd share it with you all. I don't use a heap of products so you won't be too amazed but what I do use works really well so I hope you guys like this video and let's get into it. I guess I should start off by telling you a brief history of my skin and it hasn't always been great. I actually used to be pretty pimple prone. I don't know. I don't want to call it acne prone because I didn't have acne but I just had very adolescent skin which I think is so normal but I really wanted to try and fix it so I did a lot of research and found some products and a supplement which really helped and yeah it's pretty much cleared my skin now. I still do get the odd breakout but it's so much better and I wouldn't say my skin's really oily anymore. If anything it's normal to a little bit dry. Well there goes my doorbell. Is anyone going to answer it or do I have to answer it? I don't want to. I'm wearing like a crop top. <laughs> That's awkward. Someone else answered it so it's all good but what I was saying before is my skin's probably normal to dry these days. It does sometimes get a little bit oily but it doesn't happen as much anymore. It's just if I'm eating really bad food then my skin will probably go a bit shiny and oily. But these days I'm generally really happy with it so I guess now I'll just show you the products which I use on a daily basis and some of the products which I use occasionally which really help maintain my skin looking good. A brand that I really love for skincare is Sukin and I use the Foaming Facial Cleanser and I use this every single day and yeah I just love it because it's sulfate free and paraben free so it's very natural. It says here it's got chamomile, aloe vera, witch hazel, and green tea, macadamia and even primrose oils to purif purify and balance your skin and it's suitable for all skin types which I thought was great for me because it's not going to be too drying to my skin but it's also going to give it a little bit of moisture since it's got chamomile and aloe vera which will help soothe my skin and help keep it moisturized. And yeah, I haven't had any reactions to this whatsoever. My skin is a little bit sensitive. I sometimes get a little bit of a pink undertone due to like products that I've used and this doesn't give me that at all. Since my skin is quite sensitive, I tend to stay away from toners just because I find it irritates my skin a little bit and then I break out. I find that my skin's fine without a toner, but if I was going to use one, I'd probably use rose water. I'm pretty sure rose water is the other option other than a toner because it's a lot more gentle on your skin and yeah, it won't make me break out because it's just a lot more gentle and won't irritate it, but I just find it's fine without one. If you guys have a toner which you know is really good for sensitive skin and if you think it makes a difference to your skin, let me know because I'd be really interested in that. As for moisturiser, I use the Sukin Sensitive Facial Moisturiser and this is also paraben free. It says it's got shea butter and aloe vera and rose hip, sesame and jojoba oils to promote moisture and balance in the skin and it's suitable for sensitive skin as well and I really like this. You only need to use a little bit because it does really go a long way and it's very moisturising and yeah I just find this really great. And I wouldn't say this has done anything amazing for my skin but it's just helped keep the moisture really balanced and you guys should all make sure you're using a moisturiser if you're not because it if you're not, your skin actually creates its own oils to moisturize your skin, which are actually bad oils and will make you break out more. So if you're oily skinned, maybe find a moisturizer which is suitable for oily skin and is a bit lighter. But if you're normal to dry or combination, then I think this is great for you. A step that I'm really bad at with my skincare routine is exfoliation. And I've only recently started doing it on a regular basis, which I know is kind of bad. I feel like some of you will be like, you should have been doing it like every week. But I don't know, I never thought I had to. But I recently started exfoliating a lot more. And I've noticed my skin feeling a lot softer and I use the Antipose Reincarnation Pure Facial Exfoliator and I really liked this because it's very gentle and again I think it's pretty natural. Um, yeah it's got avocado oil and jojoba beebs so beebs? <laughs> beebs. <laughs> it says on the back that it will marry to lift away lifeless skin leaving a fresh complexion that feels reborn so that sounds very convincing and yeah I've only used this a few times but I don't know I really like it and I haven't had any reaction to when I've been using it. A face mask which I recently discovered and fell in love with is by Sukin. I actually got this in a skincare bag from Priceline. You know when they do their deals and they give you like a huge skincare bag if you buy a certain amount of skincare. I got one of them and this came in it and I love it so much. And it's a detoxifying clay mask and I just really love this and how fresh it makes your skin feel afterwards. It looks like this on the inside so it's just a white clay mask and it really helps soothe my skin. I just feel like my skin looks so glowy and feels refreshed after using it. I just remembered and I thought it would be a helpful tip to share but my brother actually used this the other day on a breakout that he had. I hope 
hope he doesn't mind me saying this. Um, I'll ask him before I put it up. But yeah, he used it on a pimple that he had and it was quite swollen and red. And he left it on for about an hour and after that it significantly had shrank and the redness had gone away a little bit. And I feel like that's because it was so soothing. Yeah, so just a tip if you've got one of those really irritated pimples which just really need to cool down and stop being so inflamed, use a face mask because it can really help cool it down and just shrink it. The rest of the products that I'm going to show I don't use on a daily basis but I did think it would be helpful to show you guys just because I do really like them and use them pretty regularly just not on a daily basis and the first one is the Antipodes Apostle Skin Brightening Serum and I use this before I go to bed occasionally and it comes with one of those little pump bottles and kind of like a syringe and oh there's a bubble oh how big is that bubble gonna get yeah and you just kind of pump it out it's got none in there at the moment um, pump it out a little bit this stuff smells really funny from what I remember yeah and when you put it on your skin your skin smells a bit funny but overall it's really nice and it really helps brighten your skin and yeah I just really like it when you leave it on overnight you wake up and your skin looks all glowy but I only occasionally use this when I want to pamper my skin I also occasionally use an eye cream and I know I'm only 17 and you're probably thinking why are you using an eye cream at 17 but I just think it's a good habit to get into and why not start early and try and prevent the wrinkles. Um, this one's just by Noxa and it's the brightening eye cream and it's got organic aloe vera, avocado, macadamia and rose hip and it's for all skin types and I just find this is really nice underneath my eyes and it also makes a really nice base for your concealer and foundation so I really like this and sometimes my eyes are really red after taking my makeup off. I try not to rub them too hard but sometimes you just can't help it so I like to put this on afterwards and it makes my skin feel so much more soft and it kind of reassures me that I'm not damaging my eyes too much when I remove my makeup I tend to stick to wipes just because I find that's the easiest way to remove my makeup and I wash my face afterwards but the wipes I use change all the time and at the moment I've been using the Swispers Rose Hip makeup remover wipes and I'm not really a huge fan of these I just needed to use them up but generally I get my makeup remover wipes from Kohl's they have really cheap makeup remover wipes and I love them. So that's all the products that I use but I also wanted to tell you guys that I actually am on the contraceptive pill as well and I know everyone has mixed opinions on this but I personally thought it was the best thing for me and I've had no bad side effects so I'm really happy with the way it's turning out and it's really made a huge difference to my skin ever since using it. It took about three months to kick in and ever since then my skin has completely cleared up so it's all down to Yasmin which is the pill that I was on. I've had no bad side effects from it if anything just really great side effects. I was on the Levelin ED pill before and I had pretty bad side effects with that one so you just got to know that not every pill's suited for you. You've just got to find the right one if you are interested in that but obviously just speak to your doctor and see what they think's best for you. I personally really wanted to try it and see if it would really help my skin and just know that if one pill doesn't work for you doesn't mean that another won't and yeah just it's all about experimenting and seeing what works for your skin and I'm sure you guys will figure it out over time. I also wanted to mention to you guys that I generally don't wear a lot of makeup during the week. On the weekend I probably wear a bit more makeup but I usually only wear BB cream which is a lot lighter in my skin and a bit of powder as well. So I find that really helps my skin breathe and prevents breakouts and I use a Garnier Oily Skin BB Cream if you're wondering and I really like it and it's very lightweight so I highly recommend that. And something else that I feel has really helped out my skin is being really hydrated and drinking lots of water. I generally don't drink a lot of water but I drink a lot of green tea so that helps out my skin and green tea is really good for you anyway so I really enjoy doing that and that keeps me hydrated. I drink probably three green teas in one day. I think that's good for you. Don't think there's anything wrong with that but yeah that really helps keep my skin hydrated and I also drink water on top of that. But yeah I really hope you guys found these tips and the products that I use helpful and let me know if you've tried any of them out before and what skincare products you use and what type of skin you have and if you guys could help each other out in the comments I would love that because I'm sure some people would need some help and I'd love if you could comment down below and be like oh I need help with this because someone else might have something they can recommend. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!